Reuters reporter Luciana Lopez has been in South Carolina covering this story. She joins me now from Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. So what more do we know today about Dylan Roof and his motivations? Well, one interesting thing that surfaced is that what appears to be a white supremacist manifesto has surfaced. And we're trying to verify that that this does indeed come from Dylan Roof. But it lays out a little bit about how he was radicalized, looking up information about Trayvon Martin. And it lays out some of his feelings about other racial groups as well. Again, we're trying to verify that this is indeed his, but this goes a little bit deeper into his ideology. And what's in there? What, is, what does he think of and, and why? Was there an explanation for why he did this? There is an explanation of sorts. Again, he talks about how he was radicalized and looking up information uh, about different racial and ethnic groups in the United States. And then he says that he picked Charleston, in fact, because of its significance and because of its historical significance. And he says that he felt like he really needed to make a statement and that this was really the place to do it. And he also implies that there wasn't anyone else to do this. And so he felt like this was something that he had some sort of mission to go out there to do. You've been reporting there uh, since this uh, tragedy happened. Uh, has the discussion started to include uh, the, the Confederate flag or gun control? Or is it still people just grieving right now? There's been quite a lot of discussion about the Confederate flag. In fact, it's emerged as one of the flashpoints here for discussions. So for example, yesterday at the NAACP, there was a lot of discussion about how the flag needs to come down because it is viewed as a symbol of hatred and of a very sad time in American history. I was actually just at a church earlier today and the pastor there, Nelson Rivers, talked about the Confederate flag and he, and he directly addressed people who said, oh, the flag is a symbol of a Southern heritage. And his response was, I know what time it is. And he actually called worship of the flag, in a sense, idolatry. And he said that the lives of the people who were killed in this tragedy are more important. In fact, we even had Mitt Romney tweeting out today about the Confederate flag and about taking it down, which was pretty significant. And so what about the, 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 the conversations on the streets when you talk to people? Um, this is one specific church in one specific part of town. How has this impacted all of Charleston? Well, this is one specific church, but it's a church with a long and storied history. And it's a church that's viewed as, in some sense, belonging to all of Charleston, not just the people who attended it. And it's something that I think has really shaken people because there is a strong tradition of church going here in town. And there's this idea that church is a holy space and that someone could come into this holy space and try to turn it into something else, try to take it away. That's hit people very close to home, whether or not they go to Mother Emanuel, whether or not they've ever even set foot there. For example, I spoke with one man last night who was there for the second day in a row at the church to pay his respects. He doesn't go to that church. He doesn't know anyone, in fact, who was involved in this tragedy. But what he said is that it's important to him to go there so that he can remember what this feels like, so that he doesn't let this become just part of the background noise of life, but that this is, in fact, something that could spur him toward loving people more and, in fact, toward living a better life. Again, this was someone who was not personally involved in this at all, but it still meant something very deep to him and something that he very specifically wanted to take with him into the future. All right, Luciana Lopez of Reuters joining us from South Carolina. Thanks so much. Thanks for having me.